Hello Libra, this is Leonard with Lincoln Bay T Tarot and I'm doing your love reading for the month of March. And so Libra, it looks like you're going to be embracing a new love and manifesting miracles. And emotions are a, are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perspe perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And take a chance on love and turn your heart light. And why I say it's probably a new love is because we have chair empty. Somebody is leaving your life right now. And there may be a sorrow over a loss. And there is a throne for a position of authority and there's discord among family and, and friends. So... So you may be going through a little bit of a tough time, but take a chance where you can on, on your love life. And because miracles will be manifesting and take a chance on love and turn your heart light and embrace and you'll find the missing pieces and, that you are looking for. So, those are your oracles, Libra, for the month of March in your love life. Um, I'm going to be using the Aquarian Tarot and doing a block of six to actually see what is going on in your life. And what will be coming towards you. So, overall energy for Libra. The Lover's Card and a Queen of Swords. Hmm. You may be dealing with somebody older um, who is potentially your soulmate with the Lover's Card here. Could also be a Gemini with, um, since we have the Lovers as the first card. And. Yeah. With the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups, it looks like you will be making an offer to this potential queen, but um, they don't necessarily look at um, the offer. Their heart was broken previously and um, you might be walking away to a better relationship. Or they may be walking away from you. Because this is your wish fulfillment. Because you are the King of Swords. And this is the person that you've been waiting on. The one you've been lusting for. Now that you've got an upgrade, you want your soulmate. You want your twin flame. So... It's a 50-50 chance that this person is going to be your wish fulfillment. Um, yeah. Because whoever you were dealing with previously... Broke your heart and you just walked away. But now you have a Queen of Swords in your midst. Who is your wish fulfillment? Who you enter your own energy as the King of Swords? Yeah. 
in order to m match and mirror and potentially be their equal in order to woo them. So let's clarify these cards. So why is the lovers here? Mm. I swear this is like the weirdest reading so far. Yeah, you're manifesting like crazy to, for this person to be in your life. So where's the Queen of Swords here? Okay, got like five cards and... The Queen of Swords is your Ten of Cups. So you're making a decision to put down your swords and go towards this person. So why is the Knight of Cups here? You want to end... Could this be somebody that you've battled with before in ending, ending the Ten of Swords? Well, not battle in per se, but rejected and ending the Ten of Swords, and that's why we have all of this at the bottom. Okay. Kind of specific. Yeah. Because they are your Ten of Cups. They are your Ten of Pentacles. So what the heck is the Four of Cups doing here? You're not looking at anybody else because this is your wish fulfillment. This is your twin flame. This is your soulmate. This is what you called in for. So why is the Three of Swords here? Because you've been watching them, you've been spying on them, and you're telling the truth and why you had to leave them, why you put up your walls, and why you went towards illusionment. Okay. Wow. Okay, so why is the Eight of Cups here? Quite a bit of cards. Okay. This is going to be fun. You've walked away from this because... You didn't think you had enough. You didn't think you had enough to match this person. So you went off to become a King of Pentacles, to become equal to them, to start planning a new way of life with them, and to get this new start with the Ace of Pentacles, and to make an offer towards them, to should probably marry them and then make that put a ring on it, and yeah, the Queen of Swords will still be a Queen of Swords, but you're entering back into calmer waters, making a love offer, making a true love offer, using your higher intuition, Doubly. And throw in a little deception in there just to make yourself look good. <laughs> <laughs> but 
You're winning your battle. <laughs> oh, that's messed up, but it's funny. <laughs> And it is your wish fulfillment. So the star's here twice, so you may be dealing with an Aquarius, <laughs> potentially, or Gemini, because you haven't shown up in your own reading yet. Yeah, you're going to have the strength, you're changing your behavior, and yeah, and this is your soulmate. And you're, you are moving into calmer waters with this person. Your life is slowing down and coming to a good medium, a good pace. I mean, you still may have all the chaos and hecticness in your life, but it's at a good pace now because you're used to it. And you're holding on to your finances a little bit, but this Queen of Swords is also a Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Queen and King here twice. And, yeah, they've been working on themselves as well. Because they have quite a few more pentacles. And, and they may be using a little deception as well. And holding up their walls. But they do know you are their Ace of Cups. But that is your reading, Libra, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. And I will see you again next time. Laters.